Howdy, folks. Dr. Freedom here with the Times of Dr. News. News from in around the universe that may or may not astound you. It's so great. It's so freaking wonderful. It'll feel like you're doping with Chocobo blood. Okay, a um, little Final Fantasy reference there. I ain't played that game in years because it made no damn sense anyway. But all right. Um, as I said, um, we're coming into October now, of course. Um, read through should be coming up shortly. Little Bird's been whispering to me that November 4th, which is one month from now, is when he's heard filming will begin on Series 11. And so far from what we've heard on that, we're looking at a possibility of three companions. Zoe Ball, apparently on her BBC2 radio show, confirming Bradley Walsh. And also, like I said, we don't know who the other two are, if that is true. Also, the other word going around is 10 one-hour episodes and a Christmas special. So it's going to be a major change in the whole lineup, you know, let alone the organization of the show. Um, so as we're waiting for data to come in, like I said, just a few quick tidbits here, and we will be done in and out quick like a ninja. All right, here we go. <laughs> Moving on. All right, shoot, get that out of here. Oh, get that out of here. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's get on to it. Let's get on to it. All right, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. First off, I'm on the wrong page. Here we go. Dr. Who's companions Pearl Mackey and Freeman Agumon apparently met thanks to a timey wimey coincidence. Bill and Martha found themselves on the same plane home together, apparently. Uh, Last time, the last, the last month, Radio Times was lucky enough to speak to two Doctor Who companions in one day and quickly realized that Freeman Edgeman, who traveled with the 10th Doctor as Martha Jones, and Pearl Mackey, who plays the parting build pots, have never met until now. Now, apparently, you see this week the universe intervened and, due to what Edgeman called a timey wimey coincidence, decided to put them on the same plane together. So, yippee skippy. From what we're hearing, it sounded like they got along well. You know, Adjuman's on her way back from, you know, the initial read-through for, you know, series, you know, the last series probably of Sense8 and, you know, Mackie on her way back from German Comic-Con. So they both say, of course, and never, you know, say that, you know, that companion will ever return. Uh, you're not. Moving onward. <laughs> Matt Lucas talks to Little Britain. Uh, he talks to us. Uh, no, Matt Lucas talks to Little Britain, Doctor Who. Comedy Heroes and his new autobiography, Little Me from My Life from A to Z, ahead of the Eli Cathedral event. And this in the Eli Standard. And it's a nice little short piece. But also, if you want more Matt Lucas, go over here where he talks to Digital Spy and basically says he proved, you know, hopefully that, he, hopefully that he proved the Doctor Who doubters wrong, which he did because you know how I felt about Narda when we went into series L10. I was like, oh, my God, you mean they're going to waste airtime on Narna? But, damn, you know, he really knocked it out of the park as far as I'm concerned, all right? Now, there are some of you out there, like I said, very few of you who have been going, oh, he sucked. Well, I got some bad news. He didn't. All right. Get ready for this. The Metacrisis Doctor is now coming to Big Finish. And before you all get crazy, before you all get nuts, these are going to be narrated. These are short trips, so they're going to be narrated by Camille Coduri. So it's going to be like, you know, Rose's mom telling the story. So, yeah. <laughs> damn. It's that time of the year when my allergies are going to kick me in the butt. I'm not kidding. Everybody's like, oh, my God. Did that fat man just blow his nose on the camera? Oh. All right. So... This will be two brand new stories written by Camille Kaduri, you know, who played Jackie Tyler, continuing the adventures of the Metacrisis Doctor, and that'll be released next year. So this is out in March 2018, and which is Siege of Big Ben, and the other one is going to be out in May, and that's Flight into Hull, whatever the hell that is. So these are taking place in Pete's World, if y'all remember Pete's World. All right. So, I'm uh, sorry about that. I must have clicked that button by accident. Um, there we go. Okay, Noel Clark confirms a kid old hood TV series is on the way. You remember, Mickey? A whole lot of 10th Doctor people popping up all of a sudden. Writer, Doctor, you know, the writer director shared the news on Twitter. He confirmed that he is working on a TV series based on the British popular film Trilogy. So, 
so here you go. Boom, boom, boom. Here's Noel Clark saying about what he's been doing and all that. There's his tweets. So, yeah, you know, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Yeah, you know, everybody else is working except Matt Smith. I'm like, <laughs> okay, hang ups, web therapy, remake. We'll get his cast, David Tennant and Charles Dance. This heavily improvised comedy sees therapist Richard Pitt conducting web based sessions with his patients. So, it's kind of interesting that Dave Tennant, Charles Dance, Richard Grant have all been cast in the Channel 4 remake, which will see Stephen Mangan of episodes playing Richard Pitt, the protagonist therapist. So, now, now the original, of course, yeah, was Lisa Kudrow. I remember, I seem to remember those. So, I'm sorry, I still prefer Heather's American Medicine. That's just me. All right, that's Michelle Gomez. Look it up on look it up on YouTube. Heather's American Medicine. You will laugh your head off. All right, so lastly today, Doctor Who's Day Round Daily Roundup or Day Roundup, the Epic Tales, and this is of course over on Anglophonia on BBCAmerica.com. And of course, once again, there's a nice fan-made trailer out for Doctor Who. Uh, there's been some really incredible ones out. So, you know, look, it's that show I don't watch. Oh, okay, so and of course they mentioned you know, the other meetup and some other nifty little things related to Doctor Who on this page, okay? So, I like it when they do this, you know, nice little roundup here. So, also, I, I've seen this artwork right here. I think that's cool as hell. All right, so, and of course, everybody's been doing the Rick and Morty thing. <laughs> so, if you want to go check that out, links below in the description box, as usual. Uh, opening lines for Come the Imperator has been sent out, which is going to be Doctor Freedom and Eric, Volume 3. And it, like I said, we're going to start small and work our way up. I don't want to get out of hand like I did last time. Oh, but I am probably will. Where we've got 20-minute chapters going out every month or so. Um, I hope you all are enjoying those. Those are done purely for fun. We, we, we you know, like I said, I know, you know, you're probably sitting there going, oh, my God, that ride sucks. Matter of fact, I die laughing because someone on another channel has been making fun of Skydark, which just shows me they listen to it. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's all I had for you today. Nothing major going on. Like I said, um, unfortunately, like I said, Time Lord Expo has blown up, but a new event has replaced it. Um, it's been put together by the folks at Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey and uh, Caitlin Blackwood's mother. Um, and like I said, we you know can't thank them enough for throwing this together at the last minute. I'm sorry I keep forgetting Caitlin's mom's name, which is a bad habit of mine. I do it, so. But it's not, and also Terry Malloy is going to be there. Caitlin Blackwood's going to be there, and it looks sounds like it's just going to be a fun time. It's free entry, so if you want to look it up, uh, go to Wibbly Wobbly Time You Wind Me over on Facebook, or you know it's going to be in Hilliard, Ohio, October fourteenth, from ten p.m. to six a.m. at Pack Rat Comics. Also, if you have, you can look it up there as well on Facebook, Pack Rat Comics, and it's it's spelled just like it sounds, Pack Rat pack rat comics so it's going to be nice you know that something's still going to go on it's going to bring the whovians together in ohio because it was a devastating blow when they announced time lord expo was canceled um like i said it was very upsetting very disappointing and but you know as time moves on you know hopefully this will lead to a larger event next year because you know they are talking about it if this is a success they may do a larger one. Oh well folks i've got to get out of here so Till next time, take care, ta ta. Enjoy the rest of your evening. See you on the flip side, and Halloween is right around the corner. Watch out for Mike Meyer. And I don't mean that guy from Saturday Night Live. Good night. <laughs>